Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this little Fiat uh, Doblo. Uh, it is the 1.9 turbo diesel, so the more desirable engine. Um, 2004 van. Obviously, as you can see, it's a high roof vehicle. It has been converted into a little camper. Uh, probably a little one berth camper, two seat, one berth. Uh, a few modifications, I'm sure you could probably sleep two people in it. Um, it's in exceptionally clean condition throughout, to be fair. It has only covered 40,000 miles. Good service history with it. The, uh, the little old lady that owned it has kept it serviced every year, even though it's not actually really been going very far. Um, and as I say, 40,000 miles. What a lovely little find with that miles on. Um, Condition-wise, really nice. Hopefully you'll pick that up as we go around. So loads of space or loads of air um, in the air, air, light in the van. That would be the word I'm looking for, light, because um, you've got this lovely glazed high roof, but it's still got the glazing in it. It gives you a lot of nice internal light. Um, front of the roof, as you can see, is in good condition with no major damage. We've got just a little start of a little bit of spider paint there. Um, should be fairly easily sortable by a smart repairer. Um, coming down to your front windscreen, your front windscreen is in great condition with no major stone chips that I can see. I've got a few water drops on there this morning, but nothing major on there. We have a DAB aerial that's obviously been fitted over this side of the windscreen. Coming down onto your bonnet, yes, I know it's rained, I know it's got some water on it, but we're not trying to hide anything, it is in good condition there are no major stone chips we have a little bit here that needs touching up right on the leading edge of the bonnet we have a little stone chip there i think that's a bit of a leaf um, but apart from that the bonnet is in great condition headlamps are obviously plastic they've got a bit of the old sun fade on them at the moment we will get those cleaned and mopped up um, to good order for you um, so both of those have that little bit of sun fading on them Passenger side front bumper corner, that's in great condition with no scuffing on it. And if I just get down low and look down the passenger side of the vehicle, there is no major dents, dings, anything particularly cosmetic to point out to you. All pretty damn good. Coming around the front of the vehicle, as you can see, your front grills, radiators, etc., are all in good condition. Your driver's side front bumper corner, that's in good condition. Ah, uh, you know, what? we're looking at a really, really minor little scratch there, but nothing major at all. And then looking down the driver's side of the vehicle, again, this side, really straight and tidy, no dents or dings. Um, obviously, with this miles on it and the history it's got, it's just not, um, not done a lot of hard work at all. Uh, alloy wheels on the vehicle. Um, so, as you can see, uh, Fiat badge alloy wheels. I have no idea whether they're genuine ones or not, but you've got a lovely Cooper tyre on this side. That tyre has loads of tyre tread depth on it, as you can see. Driver's side front wing, that's in great condition as well. There's a really nice kind of uh, gleaming finish to the paintwork as well. Uh, dynamic spec as the base vehicle, so that was like their top specification in this van at the time. Colour coded mirrors, as you can see. We have a little bit of a crack in the mirror unit there, actually. Uh, mirror itself, mirror unit itself is all good. Um, it's fairly secure, but there is a little bit of a crack in the in the mirror unit. Uh, driver's side door glass, that's in good condition. Driver's side door itself and your protective rubber strip on the door, that's all good. Uh, driver's side rear sliding door, so it's a twin side loading door van. Uh, this uh, this side's probably quite redundant, really, other than if you want to open it up whilst you're sleeping in it. Uh, it gives you a little bit of access to the one side of the van. Looking down low at your sills, your sills are in good condition. There's no signs of any real damage or corrosion or anything like that on them. Your rear alloy wheel, this side, that does have a little bit of curb damage on it. As you can see, just on the edge, you have a rapid tyre on this side. And that has loads of tire tread depth on it, as you can see. Uh, here is your 220, 240 volt hookup. So your external hookup uh, is done through there. Your driver's side rear bumper corner, no major. Oh no, we do. We have a little bit of a scuff there. Look, a little bit of impact damage there, a little bit of a mark there, and just a little bit of 
trim there with a small amount of damage on it. Rear light unit this side, that's all good. All your glazing, etc. this side is all good. And looking at your upper part of your roof, that's in good order. So as I say, sliding door this side, opens and slides back. If you just look in between your door shuts, you can see it's in good order as well. Door seals appear to be in good order. And then that just gives you access to some storage behind the vehicle. Coming around to the back end, you have rear barn doors fitted. High level rear barn doors, as you can see. High level brake light here, windscreen wash. Heated rear window with windscreen wiper wash on it as well. Rear doors are in exceptionally clean condition as well. Your plastic bumper protector, that's in great condition. Door locks this side are all good. Opens up nicely, as you can see. The inside of your rear doors, they're in great condition, so there's no kind of excessive damage to them. I would imagine this has been converted from new looking at this vehicle. And then, yeah, we have obviously curtains on the back. So rear doors open to give you a kind of nice open access to the van. Uh, your little steps there, they can come out just to help you get in and out. We have storage nets here. We have some power sockets here, as you can see, with USB charging. Um, your hob and stuff. So that's all under here. That all lifts up. You've got a nice little gas hob, two burner gas hob. There's your sink with internal water as well and tap. And then we have in here your LPG storage tank. In this one is your water tank little table it does fold down as well i've got it on display at the moment but it is in there at the moment and then in here we have some further storage with uh yeah more stuff uh up there in the roof you've got these lights i have just turned them on for the photo so these just manually turn on and off so at night that will give you some internal lighting uh the roof is nicely finished as you can see we have shelving up here, so that just gives you additional storage along the sides there. Uh, the normal van uh, lighting on the back here, I would imagine that's actually probably quite redundant now. We'll double check why it doesn't fire up though, just in case. Uh, and then as you can see, so it does have internal um, blinds for your rear windows, okay? Uh, they are fitted on this side and this side here in the back, okay? You also then have your curtains. And then <clears throat> this here is your single bed setup that you have in the vehicle, okay? Uh, further up there on the front, above your head, you have um, a storage shelf, uh, and in there are further sun blinds or window blinds as well for the vehicle as well. Carpet, etc. all carpeted inside. Uh, these will come down, I have taken pictures, okay? You've got little, um, uh, oh god I've gone the right out you know what i mean there's a picture of them yeah so those open up in behind this one god it's gone straight out of my mind too many bangs to the head over my years i'm afraid um in this one we have uh, i think a porta potty uh we have further storage in that one so there's loads of storage in the van uh, and you obviously have a normal power hookup so you've got your gas hob you've got your water and you've got your external hookup as well uh, and you've got your lighting inside um, so it's a little micro camper isn't it basically rear light unit this side that's in great condition driver's side rear bumper corner oh you do have reverse parking sensors on the vehicle as well by the way so driver's side rear driver's side passenger side rear bumper corner is in good order and if we just look down the passenger side of the vehicle it's in really great condition part of the roof this side's all lovely a uh, real nice gleam to the paintwork as well and that's as, as it's come in to be honest with you we've given it a quick valid but it's um it came in in lovely condition lower quarters glazing sliding door etc is all good there's your fuel filler in here which has a lockable cap on it 
Uh, Alan wheel this side again, some minor curbing on it. It does have another budget tyre, a rappy that matches your other side. And that one does have loads of tyre tread depth on there as well. There's just your external uh, or your um, wastewater pipe coming out the back there. Sliding door this side. And that just gives you access to this side. So as I say, your table is currently up. This will fold down to here. Uh, you have some further uh, power sockets here and your entry steps, etc. this side are all in good condition. Back of the seats, as you can see, all good. Curtain that comes across, so that will section off your front end of the vehicle. And then obviously you've got your, your curtains for this side. So um, yeah, at night you'll sleep in the back here, on the bed over here. There's your kitchen side of things. And then you'll have a curtain that comes across the front here and covers over that side. Um, sorry, let's do the sliding door. There we go. It's the latch closey sliding door. Passenger side front door, that's all in good condition. Looking at your seals down low here, those are all in good condition with no damage. We have another Cooper tire this side. So both the front alloy wheels have Cooper tires and your rear ones have rapid tires. And again, those have loads of tire tread depth on there as well. A few minor marks on your alloy wheel this side, but nothing major. And then passenger side wing, etc. that's all in good condition. Mirror unit this side, that's all good. And then a passenger side door card and door, as you can see, that's in clean condition. Your entry seals on this side, plastics are all good. The carpets are clean. Here's your bonnet release. I'll pull that so you can have a look under there. You do have a passenger airbag, as you can see. You have a glove box this side. There's your tow hook as well. Hopefully you'll not need that. Obviously vents, etc. does have air conditioning in this vehicle as well, which is all nice, isn't it? And then your passenger seat trim, as you can see, that's in clean, tidy condition. An armrest for your driver's seat there as well. Now then, let's try and open up the bonnet one-handed. So, just underneath your Fiat badge is your bonnet release. And that just moves to the left. And then underneath your bonnet, as you can see, really clean and tidy engine bay etc how clean and tidy is that the block of wood on the yeah i don't know i don't it's, just, it's not obviously fiat factory fit is it i'm not quite sure what's going on there but it obviously does a job it's got an rac replacement battery on it uh there is your brake fluid looks all nice and clean your fuel filter is a fairly recent fuel filter i think that's been done this year as well and then top of your engine there's your dipstick there's your oil filler there's your power steering fluid and there is your coolant and the coolant is the correct color there's no contamination in there that's all good looking at your wing bolts uh, bonnet bolts those are all original paintwork on there just shows you that it's not had any kind of front end damage and then just looking down the vehicle yeah i mean you know there doesn't appear to be any kind of major leaks or anything like that it all looks pretty clean and tidy doesn't it and it drives really, really well. I have to say, I've been pleasantly surprised by how well it drives. Driver's door, driver's door card, etc. That's all clean and tidy. Your entry sills and steps this side, again, very clean and tidy. Your flooring inside justifies all the mileage, doesn't it? The wear on your pedals, it's all as it should be for a 40,000 mile vehicle. Your seating, etc. That's all clean and tidy. You know, getting in the vehicle, we'll fire it up for you. So turn it on and fires up fine. Always fires up fine first time in our since it's been with us. It's done 40,545 miles. Look at the diesel. Loads of diesel in it. Driver's airbag, horns on your steering wheel. A little bit of wear on the top on the steering wheel here, but nothing major. For the most part, the steering wheel still has all of its factory texture on it. Wipers are on this stalk over here. Turns your wipers on. Those are all clearing quite nicely, aren't they? A uh, little button on the end of that stalk then runs you through your computer system on here. Just tells you your, um, yeah, all your bits and pieces to do with the vehicle. No warning lights on on the dash, as you can see. We will give it a 110-point PDI check and an electronic health check on our diagnostics before it goes out the door. This side are your lights, okay? So you obviously these side lights, main lights, indicators up and down on this side as well. Um, and then over here, it's got an uprated Kenwood DAB stereo radio system in it with a Bluetooth 
um, uh, Bluetooth phone system on there as well. I would imagine that will probably Bluetooth your music as well. Um, so that's a nice little upgrade, isn't it? Front fog lights, rear fog lights, hazard warning lights, driver's electric window, passenger electric window, heated rear window, air conditioning. You turn that on and off by pressing that in and out. Uh, blower fans, obviously. Heater controls on this side where you want the air blowing to here. Air recirculation and then obviously fresh air coming in from the vehicle. Fag lighter there five speed manual gearbox reverse gear to the right and then back towards you and that then activates your parking sensors as you can hear in between your seats you've got a cup holder it's all clean and tidy no old mcdonald's or anything it's just an exceptionally clean van um low miles 1.9 turbo diesel um, with a little camper conversion in it um it's not stupid money for a camper is it you can get out there go and see a bit of the country um, go and enjoy yourself um, yeah there we go anyway um, 50 to 60 photos on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are Vans Today Worcester based in the centre of the country offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance feel free to give us a call if you have any further queries uh, 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com well done you just made it through 16 minutes of me waffling on but hopefully this gives you a good indication of the vehicle that you're looking at buying cheers